In this week's Tableau tip, I'm going to show you how to reorder a stacked bar chart with a set action. The idea here is to be able to click on any piece of any bar and that color moves to the bottom. Let's see how we go ahead and do that. So the first thing I want to do is I need to build my stacked bar chart. So I'm going to drag order date to the columns, hit the plus sign to make it by quarters, bring sales to the rows, ship mode to the color, and that's going to give me a line for each ship mode. To make it a percent of total stacked bar chart, I need to first change my uh, sum of sales to a quick table calculation percent of total. I then want to compute that using ship mode and change my mark type to a bar. And now we have our stacked bar chart. What we're trying to achieve here is, again, if I click on this gray, I want the gray to move to the bottom. If I click on the light blue, I want the light blue to move to the bottom. To do that, we need to create a set on ship mode. So let's right click on ship mode and create a set. It's called my ship mode set, and I'll go ahead and maybe I'll just choose second class for now. Next, I need to go ahead and create a field that's going to bring back the sales for the ship mode that I selected. So sales for selected ship mode. And the formula there is pretty simple. I'm going to say if it's the ship mode set, then sales, else is zero, end. All right, and let's see what that does. I'm going to drag that field onto the label shelf. And we can see that the only color that's, uh, that has a value is the gray. Perfect. So now I want to sort my ship mode by the field, sales for selected ship mode. And I need to leave it ascending if I want that color bar on the bottom. So now how do we go ahead and click on this another color and have that move to the, to the bottom? Well, we do that with a set action. So let's go up to Worksheet and Actions. Let's add a Change Set Values action. So I'm going to call this Update Ship Mode Set. I want to do it on Select, but I only want to do it when they click on one bar. If they pick multiple bars, I don't want it to run. The set I'm going to update is ship mode, and I want to choose keep set values to make sure that that color stays at the bottom after it's deselected. Let's hit OK. Hit OK again, and now if I click on the red bar, the red bar moves to the bottom. If I click on the light blue, the light blue moves to the bottom. But now we need to get rid of that highlighting. So to do that, I'm going to create a dummy field. I'm just going to give it a simple text of dummy. And drag that to the detail shelf. And now if I go to Worksheet Actions, I'm going to choose a filter action, and I'm going to call it Remove Highlight. I'm going to choose it on Select. The, I want to uh, show all values in the target filters. I'm just going to go ahead and pick Dummy. And I want it to go to any other field in the view. So let's say Product Name, or any other field that's not in the view. Hit OK all the way out of the actions. And now when I click on the, the gray, it moves to the bottom. The green, it moves to the bottom. And it's automatically de-highlighted. So the last thing I need to do here is clean up my tooltips. So I want to know the sales. So I'm going to drag that onto the tooltip. And you can see I have dummy, which I don't need. So I'm going to go over here to dummy on my marks card and uncheck include in tooltip. And everything else looks OK. So I'm going to go into my tooltip. I'm going to choose ship mode. And after that, I want to have the year and the quarter. And then I'm going to have my sales and my percent of sales, my percent of total sales. Hit OK. And now you can see when I hover over any of these bars, I can see the sales plus the percent of total that it makes up. If you have any, any other questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have a good day.